I'm going to be talking about my procurement 2024 trends and what you should be on the lookout for. Starting off with trend number one. And I think this is a trend that more and more people are starting to become aware of. And it's this concept of process orchestration. So process orchestration is a new category of procurement tech. And it's procurement tech that does workflows differently to any other piece of tech out there. So the way it works is typically it's drag and drop workflow build. So you build your processes using a drag and drop no code workflow builder. It's pretty straightforward, right? Like think about it if if you've used something like Lucid to make your processes internally or that your process maps, it's kind of like FAP, but it's for your procurement processes. And instead of requiring everyone to come in and use the specific tool that procurement wants to wants to use and roll out people can carry on working in their own software so whether it's one trust whether it's jira whether it's their their contracting solution those people are free to just remain do all of their work in there and once that work's done using the the api the connectivity features within the process orchestration tool it will just guide the initial request from start through to finish. And that's another thing that is doing really well is intake. So a big problem in procurement is the ability to raise a request to, to ask someone in your organization to go and buy something for you. And what these process orchestration tools are doing is they're starting typically with a workflow. Some of them are starting with the intake. So getting the request from the business the two together are incredibly powerful. They're enabling you to build world-class procurement processes with, dra with drag and drop functionality in not very much time at all. And you don't really need to worry about user adoption or rollout. So change management is such a big burden. And I'm going to call it that. It is a huge burden whenever you roll out procurement tech solutions. With this, you really don't have any. You just need to train a few people in the procurement team to use it you need to get the connectivity right and then it's it's done so i think you know process orchestration we're going to hear so much about it i'm really bullish on it i think fundamentally it's the future for a lot of procurement tech solutions out there i'll kind of pair this with my trend number two and this is always a trend that uh, I, I think is it's like a legacy trend right <laughs> we always talk about it not, nothing really happens but it's that data piece and it's about that connectivity of data. So one thing that procurement has is a data problem. We have really poor data in systems and Excel spreadsheets, uh, just here, there and everywhere. And even a lot of the, the solutions out there, they really struggle to get really good data for you to use in your day-to-day -day work. So one thing I, I think we're going to see on the procurement tech side is procurement tech companies really focus in on getting better data, cleaner data, uh, more usable, enriched data than we've ever seen before. And then, you know, pairing that with potentially a process orchestration layer, we're going to have a data layer, we're going to have process orchestration uh, sat above it, and then you're going to have all these other apps uh, that are collecting data. So it may be InfoSec are doing stuff with Jira and you're building up all of this, this risk data, or maybe that comes from OneTrust or whatever. You no, know, I'm just chucking out a, a few names because I know a lot of the process orchestration solutions connect with both OneTrust and Jira. You're just going to be pulling all of this data in from your process orchestration layer into your data layer. Your data layer is going to be pulling data from you know, a lot of other sources as well. And what we're going to finally see is a tech stack in procurement that works for everyone in the business and brings really good data in. So uh, they're kind of my two main trends for 2024. I really think we're going to see a bit of a, a change in the procurement tech market, the tech space. And I also, this is a third trend, but I think P2P, so procure to pay platforms are going to have to pivot somewhat. They are effectively kind of doing what process orchestration is doing, but they're doing it in an old format. I wouldn't be surprised to see every P2P system really start to market themselves slightly differently, whether that's through their intake, their request gathering, through their, the ease of building their workflows, and maybe focusing more on like the PO bill or the accounts payable piece if they, they cover all of that. It's going to be a incredibly interesting space for any procurement nerds like me and you out there just to, to watch. My trend number three 
is is all about people right and the skills that we need moving forward so i no longer think the traditional procurement skill set of like be good at sourcing be good at negotiation be good at contract management is enough to succeed in procurement in 2024 onwards i think they're great skills to have i'm not diminishing those skills i actually think you have to have those skills we really need to elevate the procurement skill set we have to become way more digitally capable. And I'm just trying to recall the words that Eloise Epstein uses, it's like this, this athlete uh, analogy. I'm actually working on the skills that a digital procurement pro needs going forwards. And I think they're fundamentally different in that we need to be way better knowledge workers. So what does that mean? We, we need to manage our knowledge better. So it might mean that we create something like a personal knowledge management system, a second brain that we can use both within our career so like it's a personal one but also an organization one and the reason i'm saying this is with the use of gen ai and artificial intelligence in general you can really extract a lot of that data you can pull it out of your your knowledge management systems you can smash it together and come up with new ideas or new learnings or new ways of working i think that's a really exciting area to explore so i think that the skill sets are we're going to see a bit of a shift there skills such as grit digital thinking so thinking digitally native or digital first thinking in everything you do so when you're talking about or thinking about building a procurement process you know everyone always thinks like oh we've got to send an email here an email there oh we've got to build something in this database here it's an excel database typically all of that thinking really has to go you really need to get your businesses to embrace that digital way of working and then start thinking about actually how do these workflows now interact with the rest of the business and that kind of comes back to that that first trend that i mentioned which is process orchestration and i don't necessarily mean process orchestration as a, a category of procure tech I, I mean just like be good orchestrators i uh, fundamentally think that's a, a direction that procurement's going in right like we we are as procurement managers or whatever your role is you're going to have less people available to you you're going to probably have more tech available to you and your unique skill set is going to be orchestrating the start of the request through to the end of the request or the start of the life cycle through to the end of the life cycle and how do you do that typically you're going to have to understand how your tech stack operates and how you need to build it in the first place to get the best results for your business so i, I see us as being orchestrators going forwards in procurement and architects and those two roles together the architect and the orchestrator could be incredible but they do need different skill sets so i'm going to stop there because i think those, those, those three trends are probably enough for part one of this video i may well do a part two i do have some more thoughts that i am keen to share with you but i'll leave a link in the description below because what i am doing over on substack throughout january and february is just sharing some of these these trends for 2024 in a little bit more detail and you should definitely go over subscribe check out what I, what i'm doing over there and before you go make sure you check out this video right here i think it's going to be super useful it's all about how to make more money as a procurement professional i think that's something that is always on procurement professionals minds especially at the start of the year so check that out and i'll see you soon goodbye